Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel English for English and today we will be learning about collective nouns, possessive nouns and compound nouns. In the previous video we, we learned about nouns, types of nouns and proper noun and common noun. So without further ado, let's get to the video. First up is collective noun. Collective nouns are used to name a group of persons, places, animals, or things. Words like group, herd, a bunch are collective noun examples. So let us take a look at the examples. A herd of cattle. Here herd is the collective noun. A gaggle of geese. Gaggle. A litter of cubs. A flock of birds. A pack of wolves. A class of pupils, a troop of actors, a set of stamps, a galaxy of stars, a pack of cards, an atlas of maps, a bouquet of flowers, a bunch of grapes. All the highlighted words are collective nouns. So now let us take a look at some more examples. Our class is in the first floor of the building. It is class. It doesn't specify a single person. It says in a group. Class is a group. We waited anxiously for the jury to come to a verdict. Similarly, jury is also not just one person. It's a group of people. This year's cricket team includes three players who are from England. Napoleon's army was finally defeated at Waterloo. The town council has approved plans to create a new park. They come from the same family. The rock group has been on tour for months. All the audience applauded loudly when Bob Marley appeared on the stage. All these highlighted words, they do not represent a single person or a single thing. They say in group. A, a class represents a group, jury, team, everything represents a group. Next is possessive nouns. A possessive noun is a word that comes who, that names who or what has or owns something. A possessive noun is a noun indicating ownership and we make a noun possessive by adding an apostrophe and s and an S at the end of the word, like this. This is Amanda's violin. Here, Amanda is the name of a person. And when we added the apostrophe and the S, it became a possessive noun. Without the apostrophe and the S, it will be a proper noun. But since we added an apostrophe and an S, it became possessive noun. This is Lucy's coat. Rotha bought a new cover for Grandpa's spectacles. Christopher's dream for a laptop came true on his birthday. Helen's answer sheet was not checked. Here it says, whose violin? Amanda's violin. Whose coat? Lucy's coat. Whose spectacles? Grandpa's. Whose dream? Christopher's. Whose answer sheet? Helen's. So there are singular as well as plural possessive nouns. First is singular possessive nouns. Apples taste. Apples taste. Taste of the apple. Apples taste. Books cover. Computers keyboard. Fishes eggs. Goddesses beauty. Jams ingredient. Marbles shape. Senators vote. Victors spoils. Watermelons rind. And these, without the apostrophe and the S, all these words are singular. And when we add the apostrophe and the S, it becomes singular possessive nouns. Next is plural possessive nouns. When a plural, possess when a plural noun ends with an S, simply add an apostrophe to make it possessive. Here are some examples. Frogs croaking. Frogs. Frogs is a plural, plural noun. And by adding 
an apostrophe, it represents a fro frogs as a whole, frogs croaking, as a group, frogs as plural, and who's croaking? Frogs, garages, fees, igloos, construction, juices, flavors, owls, eyes, planets, orbits, quizzes, difficulty, students, grades, violins, melody, wagons, circle. So next step is compound noun. Compound noun are formed by joining two words together. There are three different ways to form compound nouns. The first one is closed form. These compound nouns simply push two words together to form a single word with no additional punctuation or spaces. Examples include softball, redhead, makeup, keyboard, toothpaste, lipstick, and earphone. So softball, it's made of two words, soft and ball. Red, next one, redhead, red and head, makeup, make and up, keyboard, key and board, toothpaste, tooth and paste, lipstick, lip and stick, and earphone, ear and phone. And the next form is hyphenated form. These compound nouns connect two or more words with one or more hyphens between them. Examples, six pack, six pack. This thing right here is called a hyphen. And this word is a hyphenated word. Five year old and son-in-law, son-in-law, hyphens. And the next form is open form. These are compound nouns that function as one unique word but are still written as two or more separate words with a space between each component like post office, middle class, attorney general, high school, french fries. They are all compound nouns in the open form. Now let's take a look at the examples. Ian looked at his time table. Time and table are two different words. And this is the closed form of the compound noun. It was going to be lunch time. Again, the closed form. The, bas the basketball match was scheduled in the afternoon. Here there are two nouns. Basketball and afternoon both are compound nouns in, the, in their closed form. Just after the breakfast, Matt rushed to his tracksuit. Here too, there are two compound nouns, breakfast and tracksuit. Next bus stop is five minutes away from this one. This right here, bus stop, it's not a closed form, it's the open form. I hate fireflies in the hot summer nights. Fireflies are two different words and they are compound noun. Yes, they are compound noun in their open form. My brother has six pack apps. Here, six pack. It's hyphenated. It's a hyphenated word and thus it is a compound noun in its hyphenated form. I enjoy a lot while swimming in the swimming pool. This is the open form. Keyboard is an input device, keyboard. This is the closed form. I always remember the general half annual checkup of my grandparents. Here checkup is a hyphenated word and it is the hyphenated form of compound noun. My mother-in-law is very honest and kind person. Here mother-in-law is a hyphenated word and it is the hyphenated form of compound noun. That's it for today's video. We'll learn more about nouns in the next video. And until then, bye.